just waiting for it to cast. There we go. Okay, uh, trying this again. Um, for those of you all listening at another point, um, somehow or another in, the case, in switching over uh, what kind of way I wanted Facebook to do live, it made me um, go live on my personal account instead of my uh, the church account. So, uh, welcome back to the other thing that's happening. Uh, but maybe this is a good thing because um, so many of my urban people were kind of coming in, which was, I thought, well, maybe uh, I didn't know what was happening. So now I know that it's because you all don't follow um, oh. our Northside page. Uh, so, but now you might be able to actually watch me. Um, so uh, let me know again in the comments uh, if you're here because I can't actually see people. There we go. There's Allie. Um, so anyway, continue. <laughs> so my story that I was telling was uh, about how my uh, one time and when we were on a, a vacation, we were hiking uh, on the side of the road, just playing on some rocks. And a cop pulled us over. I thought we were poaching, which was really uh, uh, unfortunate and weird. Um, that he thought we had nothing better to do than to, as a family, poach deer together. Um, I uh, I guess I'll tell another story now that we have to buy time for people to switch over. Um, on another uh, case, we, uh, I at the end of my uh, road, I grew up on, um, it's one lane and at the end is a little circle um, that you just turn around and come back. Uh, but at the very end of the, I, I lived the second house on the left coming into the road. And then this is the far back house. Uh, we actually knew the people and they actually, uh, they had a pond that they stocked with bluegill. And I like fishing. So me and my cousin got a wagon with fishing poles and uh, tackle boxes yeah, and everything. Yeah. I walked about five, 10 minutes down the road and actually started fishing in the, uh, in this person's pond and we had a good time uh, it was something to kill the, the summer days with but then we were coming back and this lady uh who was kind of known to be mean just starts screaming at us um about how we were trespassing we need to get off that person's yard she was going to call the cops and she was yelling at us and all kinds of stuff um and she thought me and my cousin were fighting, I think. I don't know. If my mom switches over, she, maybe she remembers the story better. Um, because I ran away and my cousin just like stayed there and walked with the wagon. Um, I was a scaredy cat. Um, but uh, she was, then she called my mom and was like, this is what they were doing. Uh, and my mom was like, okay. And so my mom was waiting when we got back and was like, what happened? And when I was just like, she yelled at us, and I don't know why, and, and all kinds of stuff. It was weird. Uh, so I've been accused of trespassing um, when I was never trespassing uh, many times. My favorite time, though, is here recently, um, to bring you all into my family drama of sorts. Uh, I have a farm in Owen County. It's 150 acres. I don't know, it's pretty big. And the what I always say we raised deer and turkey and stuff because we have a cabin we hunt that's what we do on our farm um but there's this little service road and this one guy has decided uh that the road actually belongs to his friend and has been like pestering us about it but it's a like a county road no one can actually own the road um but apparently uh he got very uh annoyed because he had pictures from because he has a trail cam up there which is to see deer but it's probably actually a spot on us and he's like who's this guy with this girl behind him you know do you know who that is and it was me and amber and so uh, it was actually one of my dad's friends was down there and he goes well that's the owner's son and that's his wife uh and so that's like completely okay for them to be there and you shouldn't harass them at all because they have more right than you because this guy's a friend of a guy who may, who owns land connected to ours. So he really doesn't have a dog in this race. Um, and he uses some app and he's pretty sure that the app means half of our cabins owned by his friend and instead of, you know, the official documents and stuff. So, and I'm a sucker for obeying the rules. I'm a good boy um, to the annoyance of some of my students, maybe um, because I make you all 
obey the rules even they're, if they're stupid and we have had to obey some stupid rules before um and so it always upsets me when like people like get mad at me think i'm doing the wrong thing i'm like i'm doing the right thing i.e for those of y'all that know about what happened uh when we went skating at champs um that's why that stuff annoys me is when i get a lot of permission and then i get in trouble for it it kind of annoys me so okay well now that we've kind of killed uh five minutes it looks like um I guess the people that are switching over are switching over. So tonight is to mix it up a little bit. We are doing a taste test. So uh, I have lemonade, yogurt, chips, granola bar, and beef jerky. Um, they, one of them is name brand and one of them is a Walmart brand, um, generic. Uh, and so we're going to say stuff over here on my right side. Hello, is uh, this will be a it's table two apparently because <laughs> Amber labeled them and not me. So, this is table, this is option two, and my left side is option one. So, option two, option one, it looks backwards on your screen, it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna hold them up. And I'm going to let you all just by looks tell me what you think is generic and which one you think is uh, the name brand. So first, uh, let's go with lemonade um, because uh, I need something to drink while this is happening. So option two, this is raspberry lemonade, I think. Yes? Is just pink lemonade? Oh, yeah, it's raspberry lemonade. It's raspberry lemonade. Okay. This is... Option two's raspberry lemonade or pink lemonade. Where uh, Amber says it's raspberry though. Um, so option two's okay, and then option one. Um, if which one of them is uh, what's the name of that name brand lemonade? Simply something. Simply, simple, simply lemonade. Uh, it's the best raspberry ever so here's option one here's option two so option one's a little darker than option two um i'm actually going to put my bet on that before i taste it um i'm going to bet that option one is the name brand and option two is the generic um so let me know in the comments what you all think i'll give it a, a second i'll show you the next item let's do that that you can also vote on instagram uh there's pictures on there on the youth's facebook page i'll share it there too yeah but right now it's on instagram sorry youth's instagram yeah okay on the youth's uh so project 412 instagram okay so let me know what you think one if one or two is generic um and then we'll do the chips. So here's option one's chip and option two's chip. Ooh. So let me get where. So here's option two, option one. Which one do you all think is which? Put this down. Um, and I'll see. Oh, apparently they tell me the things were that were happening. Um, okay, so oh, hey, so Stephen says option two is the brand name uh, with the lighter color. Um, Ellie says option two is his name. Uh, Rhonda thinks option one. Uh, Pauletta thinks uh, Becky thinks option two is brand name. Uh, and uh, I guess put what what you're voting on, chip or, or lemonade. Um, my mom wants to know why I'm so confusing. Because um, my right hand side is my option two. And so I just picked that up by, for some reason, I should option one option two you're correct mother you know tip wise one's pringles and one's just tax or something like that okay so taste test of let's do it the right option one lemonade 
that tastes like simply lemonade. Let's taste option two. Yeah, option one is my bet on being simply lemonade. And looking at my judge, which is Amber, yeah. option one was the simply lemonade. So, yes, yes, good job. So let's look at the chips then. So, option one, cost chip. Let's see what we're looking at. Um, okay, Ellie says that Pringles are apparently crisp chips. Sorry, Ellie. I will never betray you again. So which point crisp? Um, one. Okay, so option two is brand name chips. Uh, Becky says, um, anybody else on the crisps? As Ellie likes to point out. Um, option one is the fraud, Stephen Sam. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, let's see. This one feels a little more solid. This option two feels lighter, so I'm going to say this is my guess is option two is going to end up being uh, the Pringle. So uh, let's see, option one. It's thick and potatoey. It's good, but I don't think it's Pringles. Option two. Much thinner. It's got better salt taste to it. My bet. Option two is the Pringles. My judge has left me. Yeah. Um. Okay. Amber's eye was correct. I'm really good at this, guys. Okay. So let's do uh, the cereal bars or the granola bars, but they're. Let's, I don't want Ellie to call me on the technicality. I'm just kidding, Ellie. I love you. <laughs> uh, is half of the uh, his Pringles come broken, so that's why he thinks that was Pringles. Uh, sorry, I dropped the Pringles can off of the refrigerator, um, so the fact that it was kind of chipped made me what I also Turn off my post account. Okay. Um, okay, so um, let's get to our cereal one cereal bar. Here's the uh, guy here. Made back up. There's that. Option twos. These are actually very similar in feel, let's be honest with you. Um, I feel like option two is a little thicker, and option one feels a little thicker, which would make sense if one's thicker. Uh, Both of them are cinnamon apple. They smell similar. <clears throat> looks wise, I think this is the closest we've come to looking very similar. So uh, let me see your predictions in the comments. Um, Steven says he's stuck on this one. Yeah, it's a it's a tough one. Okay. So, so, uh, so Ellie thinks number one is name brand, number two is off brand. Okay, let's try it. Number one. Crest breaks well. Mm. 
That's pretty good. Option two, though, is soft. Um, a little more apple. -y. This one's got me I'm seeing a lot of two, two a name brand. Um, I think I'm going to go with option two being name brand. Survey says. <laughs> laughing. I don't know if that means you tricked me. You are wrong. Oh, I was wrong, guys. Apparently, option one was name brand. Option two was the the generic brand. Funny thing is, is I eat option two all the time, which makes sense. I prefer that one. So now I know cheap food's better. In this instance. I'm going to take me a drink. Option one, actual lemonade. Okay, uh, let's do um, uh, The next one after that is beef jerky. I feel like beef jerky off the yogurt tastes really bad. Yes, Amber, right? She's the one that actually knows all this. She put them out on my tables, and she has a list of what she's very helpful with this tonight. She's very helpful in general, to be honest. But tonight, she's especially helpful with with Clay. Uh, yogurt. Um, it appears to be strawberry. Strawberry. Um, I'm actually minorly allergic to straw, so if I start this way, you all have a front row seat, and my wife's the one who did it. So. <laughs> She's making it. The worst reaction I've ever had is my face got a little blood. But the doctor always told me to tell people in case I had an allergic reaction. So. So, luckily, that's easy. Your option is two. Spill yogurt all over my keyboard. That would be rough. Um, so, upon looking, option one, the uh, color, um, maybe less fruit content, um, a little more water. Right. Option two, it could be that option one has fruit in it, uh, but option two, I could see bits of fruit in it. Both smell like strawberry yogurt. So, uh, so Ellie thinks, well, she says the one on the right. I don't know which one. I shouldn't. Two is my option. Three is my left. And three, option three is a whole nother option. One is my left. Um, so I'm two, option one. Yes, paper yogurt because it's strawberry yogurt. Pauletta saying number two is the name brand. Um, yeah, I'm actually thinking number two looks like it. Um, let's see. Taste test time. Number one. Give it a little jiggle. That's always good. Mm. Becky says look, number one is going to be brand. Smooth. It's good strawberry yogurt. I like that. Option two. Less smooth, but more strawberry. Let's try this again. Yep, less smooth, more strawberry with option two. 
one. Very smooth. Like option two is not off putting, uh, but it, it's not as just silky smooth. The one. Um, hmm. uh, Rhonda saying number two. Ellie's thinking number one. Um, because smoothness. Ask the judge real quick. Is the name brand new? Yo Platt. Yeah. I feel like Yo Play, those people over there know what they're doing. So I'm going to go with option one as name brand. Yes. The judge says that's correct. Option one is name brand. Both are good, though. I kind of like the extra strawberry of option two. But uh, I like to move this on option one. I'm going to have all kinds of post midnight. <laughs> so I can have a bunch of snacks. Rhonda thinks. Oh, I'm realizing Rhonda is seeing this 30 seconds ago. So she's like, now I think number one. And on my end, I've already told you it was number one. I'm kind of funny. Number one, I bet. Um, but we love Miss Rhonda. We're not going to be fun. Uh, okay. You all are on such a long lead, so maybe I should give you all on this last one. Okay. Jerky. I love me some jerky. Ooh. So, well, we'll do the aroma test. Here's option one's beef jerky. Option one's beef jerky is smooth to the touch. Um, good color. Option one's beef jerky. Option two beef jerky, a little more rugged here. We got a little some, some brown spots, kind of like flavoring. It's a nice smooth. Um, option two. Um, <laughs> Paulette says did jerky in the yogurt. I tell you what, Paulette, after that, so let's. I'm test now. Kind of a sweet beef jerky. This, this is option one. Hmm. Uh, smelling this option two is. It smells like beef jerky. Two beef jerky. So. Now it's I'm already getting. I think there is. I don't know. Jerky. I feel like there's got to be something. That you can, anything you can buy out. Maybe dehydrated vegetables with what you need, like the stringers to hold it together. They say an option two is the name brand jerky. Um, Rhonda was good, even though she's only had it once in her life. So let's see. Option one is a bit tougher. Good flavor, though. Sweet. It's good though. Option two. I was correct with the flavoring. Much more flavor. Smoky taste to it. Um so yeah. Pretty good. I like it. Um, I'll give you all 
few seconds to uh, decide which one's which before I make my assessment on my eating. Now I'm going to eat in yogurt as so, because what's to play if I don't eat something weird. It's like spicy strawberry. Yogurt's good with option one jerky, not so good with option two jerky. Okay, Rhonda's thinking number two jerky. Um, I think uh, I'm going to go number two jerky. Um, it, number two is our argument that says yes. We were correct. Last name brand jerky. It was all good. Thank you guys for participating with me tonight and my taste test. I hope that was kind of nice. Um, uh, if uh, you all want to tell me anything uh, exciting you're doing this week, um, stay around for a few more minutes and uh, talk to you all a little bit or try weird combinations. If you all want to throw a weird combination up there of the things I have, uh, I, I will try them if that sounds fun. Um, my dog's less depressed. Um, she uh, does this thing that if you put your foot out, she uh, gets on top of it and she just like sits there with her belly on it. Um, I don't like humping my foot or anything. Um, my roommate from college, Jeremy, actually thought he, she was trying to pee on him. Uh, it actually all started when um, Amber would put her foot out and catch her and tell her, I've trapped you. And then she'd take her foot, her back in, and go over again. Missy uh, thinks that uh, this is the most fun game you can play with a human and play it with you anytime your feet are available. Because she gets on there and she just looks at you like begin the game. Uh, she's a weird dog, fat and lazy. We tell her all the time. But as I said that, her tail started wagging even more because she knows we're talking. She's a good girl, though. Spider dipped in yogurt. Uh, even that's not the stuff we tried tonight. And you're all your family's obsession with the spider is uh, it's scary. So I should buy a spider and eat it. That way you would know what you were subjecting me to. Um, I'll just put out a plug now. Um, if you, you uh, Rhonda's um, kid space video, uh, I think it comes out tomorrow. Uh, you should, or it's Saturday. I can't remember which what day. She, you all should watch it. Uh, we uh, we made her like we do every week. Me and Peyton. Uh, Peyton for uh, he's he helps bring the talent. And, uh, Miss Rhonda thinks we're the guys, um, but he he really has some good ideas and stuff. Uh, and Miss Rhonda, was, yeah. but today um, I I retook up the mantle of Ernest. If you watched last week's video, um, even if you don't, uh, this is a selfish boy, but you, you should go through Miss Rhonda's videos and find the skit. And then the week's shaming again that me and uh, get into because they're just fun to watch. Um, but last week, uh, I played Ernest, who is a lazy man who doesn't want to work. And Peyton, a fitness guru named uh, Simmons. Um, and uh, Rob is saying from 2 30, uh, it comes out. Uh, but uh, this week, he tried to come. I'm going to do the three-legged race with him. Uh, somehow or another, he was inspired to do Sodom and Gomorrah, which I thought was a weird connection to my character. Um, and uh, so uh, tune into that. I watch it. It's silly. Um, it's fun for me to pretend like I'm lazy. 
Rhonda typecast me. She keeps telling me she didn't. But, I mean, it all adds up, really. Like, uh, and every time Peyton moves, he does this thing with his, like, he does, like, a circle with his hips, and it's the funniest thing ever. I can't watch him do it, or I crack up. He's the whole thing. But he just does a really excellent job doing that. Pauletta, Wendy, Wendy's French fries dipped in frosty. Uh, just a real solid thing. Um, chocolate and lemon. I don't know if I've ever had chocolate and lemon, but that actually sounds pretty good. Um, I like chocolate pretty well. Uh, there's a game we play at Jackbox. Uh, um, and it's this... Uh, they basically did a survey. One of the questions they asked was, what person prefer dark chocolate? over milk chocolate um see i think it's like 45 percent or i think it might have been 60 percent um so let me know in the comments there do you prefer chocolate or dark chocolate um i'm personally like how it melts in my mouth it's like i i suck on candies and stuff and skittles it's weird um, but I like milk chocolate. I, I think Amber prefers dark chocolate. So, yes, I'm getting the correct nod from her. Um, so, I've got uh, two people like different types of chocolate. So, you know, my idea is sitting in the bathtub and eating milk chocolate. Uh, and Amber's ideal day would be in the dark chocolate. Um, just so you all know, I just realized I'm telling you all a story from when I accidentally set my own page. Uh, I prefer baths stars, um, and Amber prefers showers because she gets bored. Um, Pull out of chocolate. Yeah. I mean, I like chocolate, I don't, um, but I prefer milk chocolate. So. Um, well, uh, Thank you all. For, I'm going to actually end it a little bit earlier tonight um, because uh, we have talked about it. And uh, when the show's ready to be done, I think it's ready. So uh, let me pray for you guys. Um, and we'll get out of here. So, Heavenly Father, for this time of getting together, relaxing, uh, watching me eat weird things. Uh, being able to communicate with each other. Just pray that you be with all of us uh, a time of being apart uh, meters as they try to figure out how to deal with this whole virus um, and help bring knowledge to them on the that. Um, be with us all until we are able to get together again. Um, bless all the people make these things possible. Um, people that are set up Facebook and uh, all the, the that we're using. We just thank you for their brilliant mind that you gave them. Um, continue here. Keep them safe. It's great. So, uh, unless there's nothing you can do about it. And I will see you all for midnight snacks with Clay.